I'm Dan Holt. Come along with me as we explore Nevada. We're starting west of Reno at Fernley and we'll go through Hazen, Fallon, Stillwater, Stillwater National Wildlife Refuge, Harmon Junction, Grimes Point, Salt Wells, Sand Mountain, Sand Springs Pony Express Station, Frenchman, and Dixie Valley. Next we'll see East Gate, 
Cold Springs Stagecoach Station, the Pony Express Trail, and the ruins of a telegraph station, Cold Springs, Middlegate, Quartz Mountain, Gabs, the ghost town of Berlin, and the Itzthiasar State Park.
37 of these Ichthyosaurs, or sea serpents, were found in this area, perhaps from the time of Noah's flood. This one was 56 feet long and could have weighed as much as 40 tons. They put a shelter over some of these fossils in order to preserve them. Now we'll visit Ion, the O'Toole Ranch, the Yamba Shoshone Indian Reservation, Austin, Hickison Petroglyphs, Kingston, Carvers, Round Mountain, Hadley, and the ghost towns of Manhattan, Belmont, and Potts. Just south of Kingston, there's this RV park, but there aren't any motels out here, so you just have to be able to pull off on a side road and camp in the desert somewhere. This is a pretty place, though.
One thing that is really important to survive in these remote places is water. Nevada is mostly dry desert, but a few of these deserted places I've found have a water supply other than just a well. No stairs here. After pots, we'll go through Eureka, Strawberry, Buck Station, Illapa Reservoir, and the ghost town of Hamilton. These timbers look like they were squared using an axe rather than a saw. And the roof looks like it was just built out of sticks with mud over them. Buck Station was built right next to two small streams that crossed the road. The settlement of Strawberry is over there on the other side of this dry lake. I was warned to drive around it though because the sand is soft on this side from the water and it's easy to get stuck. I took a wrong left turn on the way to Hamilton and drove about a mile until I crossed a stream and came to a hill that was too steep to climb. There were some pretty flowers out here though. Well, that's about as far as we've gotten this time. Come back next time and let's see more of Central Nevada.